Christ. Hey, 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 everybody. Hey, like and subscribe if you want to see more and Hayashi. And we are going to be trying the fabled budget deck. This, I am excited because this deck, win or lose, is actually surprisingly fun to play. I <coughs> think that you are going to like this one. And, um, you know, I've already described it a little bit, but so at the end of the last deck tech, I kind of went over the basics here, but I actually ended up deciding that I want Dark Slick Shores because they come into play untapped, unlike Fetid Pools. And instead of 28 lands, instead I'll just cut four of the fields, I'll put them in the sideboard. Fortunately, that means Confounding Conundrum. Unfortunately, can't uh, make the cut, but that is fine because um, we get to play Think Twice, which is such a janky looking card, but at the end of the day, it does allow us to draw two cards. We get to um, claw through our deck very quickly. And um, this card also allows us to play Dismember without losing life, which is very nice. Very, very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, it's basically the thought process here is that the Sea and Sky deck um, plays a lot of powerful cards like Chalice and Spaloon, but requires it to tap out, but it protects itself with a subtlety and force and negation, and also plays Lauren Revealed for better pitches as well. Um, but we don't have access to the pitch spells if we're playing a budget version, but the way around this is that we literally just play everything at instant speed, with the sole exception being Stone of Erich out of the sideboard. Um, there just isn't any better graveyard hate that I'm aware of that we can play totally at instant speed, but one mana is fairly negligible, so this should be fine. But the main deck, everything is instant speed. And, you know, some cards like Secret to the Key I think are very underrated. Um, this card lets us potentially draw three cards. This is almost like an Ancestral Recall for worth of card advantage. Now, granted, we have to spend a lot of mana to make this work, but the instant speed is very important because this means if they don't cast anything, we get to um, we get to go to work with this card. And this is very important because also, it's this is not like an ideal card from the to counter because if they counter the if they counter the, like, ideally they want to counter the, the, the flashback part because that's two cards instead of one, but we still, it's still kind of a two for one on them because I still got the first half of this cycled. So it's such a surprisingly, surprisingly sweet card. I actually kind of like this better than like fact or fiction and like other, other options. I almost wonder if uh, more, if more um, blue decks should consider, should consider this. <laughs> this is a, um, I just I was just looking around for like possibly underrated cheap draw spells, and while this card isn't cheap per se because of the having to split the draw between making the clue tokens and whatnot, it's still surprisingly good. And I already said think twice. This is also surprisingly good because it's kind of like a secret to the key, except a, it has a very less powerful back end, but it also gains uh, it draws the card immediately as opposed to making the clue tokens, and you get to do it a turn earlier. But it's it's kind of a it's kind of a weaker, but slightly less clunky secrets of the key. So I kind of think these cards complement each other well. A counterspell, mono blue, counterspell, what more need, need, need I say? Dragon turtle, man, man, this card. All I could say is we need to see this card in action, but being able to dodge both Lightning Bolt and Fury is very nice. Um, and let me say the ability to tap down stuff on the other side, very underrated. Um, Cryptic Command, we all know this card used to see a lot of play back in the day. Well, if you ever want to relive the glory days, give it a try. And of course, Dismember, so we can actually deal with creatures of more than one toughness that are already on the battlefield. I think this is very necessary. And Saruman's Trickery. Um, this card is also so kind of under an underrated powerhouse. It looks so janky, but like at the end of the day, you counter a spell and you make a 1-1 token which can then like block a Ragavan or just like start pinging away for damage. This actually adds to the win conditions and it's just, you know, I, I, I must have looked over this card many, many times and I was looking for good three mana counter spells until I, it eventually it clicked where I'm like, wait a minute, this creates a creature. Like that is actually technically card advantage. I know it doesn't, <laughs> it, it doesn't seem like it fits, but yeah, 
this uh, amass orcs is surprisingly relevant. And of course, sideboard spell snare for if uh, they're more heavy on the two mana spells than on the um, one mana. I think Manor Misstep is better in the main deck though, because this hits one and zero, and almost every deck packs one mana spells, not every deck packs two mana spells. Um, dress down, you know, sung this card's praises in Sea and Sky. Very nice to have. I moved it into the sideboard just because I swapped Minor Misstep and Dress Down. This Dress Down used to be in Minor Misstep's spot, but I think I think Minor Misstep is slightly better in the main deck. There's just so many good cards like, you know, Amulet and Ragavan and, I mean, Preordain, you name it. There's so many good one-mana spells to counter. I think, especially if we're lucky enough to be on the play, sometimes we can just really... We can really start stunting the opponent's uh, development if we counter a key turn one spell. So um, <clears throat> it's close, but I think I think minor misstep is um, is a slightly better main board card. Uh, let's see. Plus, it also helps us curve out better because we have one, two, three, one mana spells. One, two, two mana spells, two, three mana spells. Well, technically, if we count this number as one mana spell, four one mana spells. It does help just make the deck a little less clunky. Like that much is, that much is uh, for certain. But uh, anyhow, anyhow, yeah. Let's uh, let's see how the games go. I think I think you guys are gonna be surprised. This deck is better than it looks. <clears throat> All right, match one. Let's go. And yeah, that's a keep. We got, we got the minor misstep. Unfortunately, we're not on the play, because then that would have been a perfect little minor misstep to use right there. Alrighty. Let's see. I think they put us to the test right now. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I gotta let this resolve because if they drop Ragavan, I think it's it's just all over. But this time, I think I can hit it. Yeah, this one I can hit. It's not as powerful as Preordain, but I have nothing better to do with my mana that turn anyway. I can double minor misstep. Already. We're gonna start. Dragon turtling another turn. Turtle, I call this turtling up. We're gonna start turtling up, just like Chun Li and uh, Street Fighter Third Strike. Turtling up, yeah, well, might as well. Might as well. Might I messed up? I'd like to turtle up some more. Counter spell, I think. All right, fair enough. Saruman. Let's see. Gone on eight, not ideal, but they put themselves on a two turn clock. Yeah, mental misstep. How many three turn clock? Excuse me. Oh yeah, let's Saruman that. Real good. Saruman sure did trick you. To see if we can get them down to one life next turn. It's going to make things complicated for them. Can't crack fetches anymore. Ouch, mama. Yeah, let's cryptic that. Return the Dragon Rage. Nobody ever expects the cryptic nowadays. Okie dokie, dokie dokie, panic, bam. Okay, let's go. Okay. And of course they have to block that, and of course they try to lightning bolt that, and of course we try to counterspell already. Ooh. Well, actually, first let's get to the sideboarding. So, I think we pretty much ran it back. Yeah, we ran it back. We actually thought we were against uh, 
Um, actually, I guess we are. We are against Jessica and Mark Tide. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is unfortunate. And unfortunately, unlike last game, we don't just get to rip um, Piracy Charm like a pro. Clearly, we should have played play Dark Slick Shores, but we don't, we're not punished. <clears throat> uh oh, so we gotta try to counter this, but they already have five mana. It's so fair. We gotta love Ragavan, the epitome of fairness. Alright, we're gonna try to turtle up. And who knows, maybe we can even hit to fairy. So we have three land types. Island, Mountain, and Plains. So that means a Leland Binding would cost three. Okay. Oh, just good old Holy Heat. What if they're only playing white for the Time Raveler? Yeah, we have to use Blast Zone. Alright, I'm going to turtle up. Alright. Why didn't they wait until the Dragon Resolve? Because they could have dealt 5 and drawn 2 cards, but that's what it is. These some holy heats are getting annoying. And oh, the last thing I needed was Murktide. Oh yeah. Counter magic is completely useless until I can deal with the fairy. Oh so yeah, not looking good. Not, <clears throat> not looking good, okay. Mm. At least I can get some, uh, man, they're already at like nine, uh, yeah, they're already at nine minutes left. They're, they're not playing the fastest. All right, this sucks. I'm just gonna let them discard. Get to see what they're working with. Lightning bolt to the face <clears throat> for GGs. Sorry, Mon. Mm. Yeah, this uh, we got nothing here. Okay. Alrighty. All right. <clears throat> That's one game three. So once again, I'm just running that, running it back, main decked. I mean, I do ultimately think that the minor missteps are pretty good. Hey, we actually have an answer to turn one Ragavan. That's nice. We have mana. We have counter spell. I think we got the, uh, we got the wherewithal to make something happen. All right, I want to hit this because I want to be able to hold up counter spell next turn. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm not going to counterspell that. Okay, think twice. Think twice is very nice. Uh, kind of need to... Uh, this could have been a mistake, but countering that is a, is a little harsh. And I kind of want to blast zone. It didn't attack. Interesting. I guess the clock is running solo for them. I had stone, that's fine. I'm gonna flashback think twice because of that stone. We're gonna do this. If they want to crack, that's fine. They don't. So 
probably going to try a flashback. I'm surprised they don't try to force us to use our mana on our turn, but we would have. We would have. Okay. That's pretty powerful now that we have three clue tokens. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we could have attacked, but we ideally want to attack with some kind of backup. Because if they drop to fairy, that's nightmare mode. Yeah, we did that because we wanted to get a card of our hand. We thought about it, but. We can always play it in our turn if we really need to. We just don't want to expose this stuff to spell appears if we don't have to. Alright, I know Piracy Charm, get it out of our hand. Draw a card. Alright, well, we unfortunately have to start discarding cards from our hand. Or not. If they play that, we'll counter spell. All right, or we're going to cryptic. Cryptic command. Uh, if they can back this up, then well played. Okay. Well played. Well, I think I'm going to have to serve with Hall to try to get that to ferry off the table. Seems like overkill, but that's just... A nightmare for us. Alright, I'd love to counter it, but can't right now. So, bam, we're gonna try to dismember, losing only two life. If they spell pierce, they spell pierce, they did not. Secrets of the Key seems kinda nice, but we can wait till the end of their turn. Any murky murk? I want a counter draw card. We're going to let them do that. Alright, I think we're going to dismember another turn. Secrets of the key. Draw a card. Think twice. Nope. Oh, key. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's blast. Not a sexy just dismember that. Works for me. Okay, well, we're gonna cryptic. They're probably gonna counter. Then we're gonna colossal sky turtle. They did not counter. I'm not gonna lie, that was not expected. All right. Yep. Um. GGs. Okie dokie. Let's go. Oh yeah, this is a this is a keep. I've ever seen one. I get to play control with the dismembers and hopefully restock my hand with Secrets of the Key. Very underrated card. Alrighty. <sighs> I think at first I I think this is uh I think this is a uh, rhinos at first. But is it really rhinos? Stay tuned next time for Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, we're going to think twice. Uh, yeah, because we want to flash back Secrets of the Key. That's the plan. But they remand. That's disgusting, because they draw a card and we don't get the uh, flashback. It is what it is, though. 
and life must go on. Let's play the Dragon Turtle to get get a board presence going, even if it is a tapped one for now. Alrighty. Yeah, think twice. I think we're making we're making something happen here. Yeah. So we're 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 going the minor misstep route because it's the same card at disadvantage, like like it's a it's a one for one either way is what I'm trying to say. Sort of. I guess technically yeah, it's a one for one because they they had to spend two cards and they only got one card. I guess that's a two for one? Nah. No, it's just like them trying. Yeah, it's a one for one. This is, yeah, it's a one for one. I think of it like they played one unholy heat instead of two lightning bolts. Alrighty. Yeah, I just want to deprive them of being able to get too much traction going with those flames of a noir. Alrighty. And I think we can start going on the offensive here. We're, we're still putting them on Murktai, just a very unusual list. Um, Sulphur Falls is a, not a usual Murktai card, and Zen Vapor Snag is extremely unusual too. We're starting to wonder, is this really Murktai? We're not so sure anymore. But if it's not Murktai, we could serve back with the Hall. But I think we're just going to try to secret to the key. That's fine. Let's dismember. So they probably should have waited for us to pay the ward. Because as it turns out here, they would have been able to snipe our secrets of the key if they had waited for us to pay the ward cost, but because they didn't, we get to hit their sprite in response, and that means there's no fairies on the battlefield when the ability resolves. Okay. Yeah, we are gonna... We're gonna try to go maximum card advantage. Okay. Saruman. All right, serve with Hall. Oh man, <laughs> it's constantly with these vapor snags. Ugh, alrighty. Okay. All right, well, we still want to serve with the Hall and hold up five mana to play Counterspell and Saruman's Trickery back to back. Yeah, they've had enough. Okay. Okay, dokey. Uh, yeah, I mean, this hand is reluctantly to keep. If they had Aether Vial, I'd be a lot more worried about early interaction, but since they don't have it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot to go over the sideboarding here. And it just so happens that I made a huge mistake. I took out Blast Zone um, for because I, 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 even though I, I put them on fairies before the end of the last game, they didn't play Delver. I didn't realize that Blast Zone was actually going to hit Delver. It was going to hit that chain fairy thing. Yeah, yeah, Blast Zone would have been excellent here. Also, I didn't realize that they'd have so many good one drops. I thought like Spellstir Sprite and. I don't know, I thought I thought spell snare would be more where it was. So yeah, we took out matter mist up for spell snare. And we took out demolition field we took out blast from the demolition field and we took out dismember for dress down. I can't fully explain dress down, to be honest. I should that should definitely be dismember. I just 
they were just mostly playing control cards without many actual bodies. And who's it? At least we have Colossal, or sorry, Dragon Turtle, to help us protect ourselves in the meantime. Dragon Turtle. So they can keep they can keep untapping the fairy. Yeah, let's that that could deal a lot of damage. If we hit the fairy, I kind of wonder, would we just get to immediately untap with the dragon? I don't know, but in either case, our clock is our clock regardless. So might as well just put them on a two-turn clock here. We are winning this race. See, at first I thought I wanted a counter, but I'm like, I don't think they can actually do much in time here. Yeah, I decided actually against trying to wage a counter war. So they just take, go down to six, and this means that they are facing down lethal. Delver doesn't flip once again. All right, oh, I'll fight a counter war this time. All right, to counter war they win. But if I get to if I get to cryptic tap their whole board, then I think that's GG. Oh, I'll pay the small pierce. Nice. Okay. All right. Match three. Uh, no land. I think we got to send it back. Okay, this is more serviceable. We're sending an island back because we have a lot of draw. I think we can draw into more. And sure enough, there's the additional lands we were talking about. Oh no, I was just going to say, I think we can beat this until... I'm not so sure we can beat this one. Man, if only we had a... Uh... If only we had a, um... a minor misstep, <laughs> then we could have really uh, intercepted that one. But well, at least we got the Dragon Turtle. They better not have... Uh... Bowmasters. All right, we're dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, for pretty much they had exactly what they needed. All right. Also, in my experience, they're going to draw something else that they need. We hate the fury. Okay, so I didn't draw something just yet. Are we gonna draw our land? Nope. Um. Oh man, it would suck so bad if they played grief right now. Oh, well, you know, good grief. Yeah, I guess reduce their options a little bit. That sucks. Man, we're just we're too far behind here. We got nothing. Oh man. Alrighty. Let's first let's get the uh, how to be sideborn. Uh, yeah, Cryptic was just kind of too expensive. Cryptic's very versatile, but it is very expensive. And so we brought in um Oh, here we We brought in uh Dress Down. And, oh yeah, and we took out three minor missteps for three Stone of Eric's. And I think that is a reasonable reasonable place to be in this hand is, of course, Kivo. All has got good stuff. Yeah, we're going to piracy charm that. Uh, 
that's too bad. Oh, this sucks. We do have eight, eight islands, as long as we draw them. We should do okay. We can use the dress down to at least prevent them from getting a treasure token. But if we don't draw more basic islands, that's going to be a problem. We could have actually played that on their turn. We were trying to play around Bowmaster, but we forgot our own advice, which is that they can't actually Bowmaster in response to dress down because they'll lose the ability before we draw a card. Uh, yeah, if we don't draw the basic island, then we are not going to be able to make much happen. <laughs> yuck! Yuck, 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 yuck. Alright, the secrets of the key, bam, bam. At least we can reduce some of the damage. Uh, this is just not... I got to do dress down, and this time there is a reason we don't want them to copy with reflection. Okay. Well, I guess it would lose haste though, so maybe we could have. Yeah, this. Yeah, just this member could have helped, but they could have taken it too. Oh man, racto scam! How much we missed ya! All right, match four, <clears throat> game one. Uh, so that's a mulligan, no lands. But this one, I think. Oh man, too bad we're not on the play. Oh, but ripping the piracy charm like a pro right here. And this is definitely looking like Murktide. Yeah. Hey, you know, counterspell, two, min two minor missteps. Think twice, load it up. I think we got a good rhythm going on here. <sighs> okay, so I know I know the play here. They're trying to bait us. Yeah, they had that, and they were going to flash back the Preordain. No thank you. We don't want to get two for one. We did expose ourselves to getting Ragaband. Oh yeah, I'm going to minor missed up that. Um, not so much for the blow-off steam, but because we don't have a clean answer to the actual flocking familiar. And we don't want to die to that thing. We, we just don't. Yeah, we'll play this. If we find ourselves wanting to minor misstep and... Dragon Turtle, or Think Twice, obviously it's going to be not so nice, but otherwise, just pretty sweet. Alright, we're going to gonna Dragon Turtle it up, and the cool thing is, even if they deal with it, which it looks like they did, at the price of Double Lightning Bolt, we still get to tap it down for their next turn, and we get to Think Twice at the end of their turn. Just such a sweet card. Okay, Oof. now we're going to do this, because we this unlocks Attack of the Storm Giant next turn, if that's what we want to do, and there's a decent chance that is what we want to do. We might as well counter this. I mean, it's a, it's a fairly powerful dig spell. If they're just flashing back lightning bolts, ugh. Well, I'm going to do it anyway, because this way we can attack with impunity next turn. Or not impunity, but just, you know... We were hoping we were running them out of cantrips, because we'd much rather just race a Dread Horde flashing back lightning bolts than one that keeps drawing cards. But, you know, their deck seems to have a lot of cantrips, for obvious reasons. Ooh. Oh, right to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. So they're uh, generating the Chump Loggers Extraordinaire. However... They have run out of their cantrips, so that's, that's a good thing. And they're respecting their life total. That has got to be a good thing. All right, we're going to try to Dragon Rage it up. Yeah, we're, we're Saramonizing. Let's Saramon's this. Ooh, Force of Negation. Well, at least they're out of... At least they're out of spells. We definitely want to hit this Ragman. As of right now, they don't have anything threatening to flash back. So... <clears throat> As long as we hit the Ragavan, we're in good shape, but they are going to get smacked for... Oh, nope, because they had a chump blocker. All right, well, 
See, the way we win this is that we exhaust their trump blockers. Going down to one is a big deal because it turns off all their fetches. We're just doing that so it can't get spell pierced. I, I'm just going to keep serving. I do want to hold Dragon Dragon uh, Turtle back. Partly, it's just it can just be a good chump blocker. You know, that's fine. But if we keep attacking, and I believe we can even hold back counter spell, so that I like that. So if we keep serving with Hall and they keep chump blocking, eventually we're going to run down there their creatures, which sounds like a good deal to me. I mean, okay, the question is, do they want to attack and suicide one of their creatures? You know, I, should, I shouldn't use that word, YouTube algorithm and all that. But, uh, all right. Uh, I mean, I'm going to keep serving. Say what you want. I'm going to keep serving. I'm going to wait to see what they play. All right, that's fine. They're really tearing through their deck. Well, they, now they're exactly at lethal. Okay, I'm going to do this, because... But now they can't actually do anything with the Expressive Iteration. So, like, I, I don't know what the point of that was. Because they already played, made their land drop. All right, I'm going to serve... Just as a precaution, I'm going to hold back with Turtle. So I, I, the way I envision this ending is that I, I just uh, connect with Hall. Yeah, that's fine. They can draw two. All right. <clears throat> All right. Match four, game two. Oh, but first, let's see the sideboarding. This one, I just took out Cryptic for for Spell Snare. This is going to be something going forward that I'm going to experiment more with because uh, being able to counter those expressive iterations and Red Horde Arcanists for one mana seems like it could be pretty powerful. Yeah, that, that hand just had no way to interact with uh, Ragavan, so we had to take it. We had to send it back. This hand is a little risky because, oh, but they went they with a mulligan to uh, two, three. Um, you know, well, we, you know, anything's possible. All right, well, if there was ever a comeback card, it's this one. Okay, not yet, though. Okay, so the secret to the key. I think we want to counter this, because the more we keep them locked on, on, like, no cantrips, the less likely that they can recover from the game. You now spell snare for one. See that that is that's pretty much what we were gunning for. Already. Hmm, should we turtle? I'm gonna turtle. Just because this also gives us the ability to go on the offensive. Okay. You know, we're turtling up, as they say. Playing the turtle up strategy. You see, I think I should have I should have cracked blast zone. This was my bad. I'm still learning this deck, believe it or not. That was maybe a mistake as well, but I kinda thought I could draw into another land to then crack blast zone. And we're gonna hit both of those. Yes, they can flash back to consider, but I definitely should have held back the dread. I mean the uh, turtle. We just don't want them to get much of anything going. Yep, that's fine. All right, we're gonna key. Now we're gonna hit that. Maybe this time the secrets of the key will will get flashbacked, flashed back. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely going to spell snare, the counter spell, nice. Of course, if I would have known, I would have just taken two damage to draw a card, but it is what it is.
This is a concession. Both are clock stopped. I think they just conceded here. It feels like an early concession, but remember, they moved to three. Their morale is probably not that high, and understandably, understandably so. Yeah. Yep. Yep, they, uh, they scooped here, so I guess that's GG. <clears throat> Alrighty, we've been uh, having some success here, so let's uh, try to keep it going. So we got an alien lover over here. Love aliens. Alright, you know, and I think this is a keepable hand. You know, this deck might be budget, but there's like a, there's this element to this that's kind of more fun than the uh, than the regular sea and sky. Can't can't pitch anything, but just everything being at instant speed is just kind of nice. <clears throat> so many is it decks. I always face so many is it decks with this deck. Alright, well, Piracy Charm to the rescue. Hopefully no Force of Negation. I think they are more likely to have Spell Pierce than they are Force of Negation. Alrighty. Okay, okay. No. Okay, good. I was worried that was going to be a Ledger Shredder. All right, they could spell pierce us, but I want to try to hit this before delirium. Okay, get maximum use out of the piracy charms. Ugh, quite an underrated mono blue removal spell. I do say so myself. <clears throat> yeah, this one's a shoe in. Just uh, setting up for draws. All right, and the good thing about this deck. Is that I'm a little less incentivized to try to strip mine them out, especially when they're fetching all non basics. So I'm probably just gonna focus on drawing cards. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, Mr. Bobble. Let's do this. Alrighty. So, I think I want to hold up Cryptic. This is liable to get spell pierced, but but if we're going to fight a Murktide battle, I'm going to need to try to Cryptic and then Dragon Turtle uh, on the follow up, I, th I guess. Or dismember on the follow up. Okay. So should I Dragon Turtle or should I Dismember? I could do both. I'm probably going to do both. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just feel the rune. Yeah, I'll just feel the rune. We gotta go shields down, but I, I don't think it's the Ragadash that I've gotta worry about. And even so, I still have Dragon Turtle. Not want to engage just yet. Because they might be worried about double counter spell. That's fine. Every once in a while they whiff with iteration. I can 
the day, we don't ultimately lose to iteration. We lose to Merc Tide. All right. All right, hopefully they don't counter this. They might not because they might be worried about what I can untap with. Yeah, and that's actually kind of my odd expression iteration right there. Spell pairs. I'm very obviously holding up a counter spell, but there's nothing I can do here. That was not expected at all. Uh, I don't know why they just run a Merc Tide right into the Cryptic Command without counter backup. Maybe they got another Merc Tide, in which case uh, that was a luck sack up in the center right here. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Should I start serving? Could. Man, I want to start serving, but I just don't think it's necessary yet. And bringing them down to 11 is not like, it's not victory. Alright, thin my deck a little bit. That's fine, but I'm going to Dragon Turtle. Uh, no uh, mystical dispute, please. It's a creature artifact land. Don't have delirium, which is nice. Yeah, they just realize they don't have delirium. Works for me. I'll definitely hold up this. This is the mana flood of the century, though. That's yeah, fine. Well, we can blast on that. Let's, let's just see if we draw a... Uh, well, what on earth? Uh, one, two, three, four. Six, seven. Kind of want to get to the point where I can haul back it up with Counterspell instead. Yeah, we'll do that. Because that actually wins the race. And these other cards, not so much.
that's the plan of the subtlety. We'll just push this to four. Okay. Yeah, I think I think it's time to try to race now. Still think I'm winning this race. a little bit of a problem. Well, it's fine. I've got the blast on anyway. But the problem here is that this is lethal. Maybe I shouldn't have tapped down and just put Blast Zone 2 up before. Oh, yeah. They're going to play something, I guarantee it, so we can counter draw. Let's play around Spell Pierce though. If they got it, they got it, but I can't, uh, can't not go for it. I don't have that many counter spells, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, try. Yeah, good. Very good. Yeah, I need to hold up. Sorry, mine's trickery. Getting massive mana flooded, but hey, that's one of the whole reasons Hall's in here. Hopefully it works out. Let's see. Should I risk dying the lightning bolt? I mean, you gotta you gotta play to win, right? Okay, I guess I can play around that then. Yeah, let's Sargam on this guy. They could force a negation at. Oh man, what a close one. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, we didn't draw any dismembers that game. Dragon Turtle is actually not bad. 
cryptic is such a is such an enigma. It kind of saved us there, but it's also so risky because it's so liable to get spell pierced. I'm gonna deviate a little bit from my normal from my normal uh, routine. I'm gonna play spell snare instead of. But I'm also gonna do the unthinkable. And I'm going to take out Dark Slick Shores for Demolition Field. Yes, this means dismember. We are going to always have to pay for life, but but they are somewhat susceptible to the eight fields. And having eight one mana counter spells, which between the two of them hits most of their deck, is pretty good. Argument could be made we want Cryptic instead of Saruman. Saruman's extremely underrated though, because that mass orcs is also kind of a win condition. This could be totally wrong here, but this could be totally wrong, but I think I think this is gonna work. can spell snare a ledger shredder, although it doesn't kind of look like that's what they're on. I'm pretty sure they got spell pierce. Yeah, I'm going to do this because they just as easily could have consider Please, no force negation, that's a little brutal. And one mana deal eight damage. Oh baby, that's that's what I lived for here. That's what that's what I brought the spell snare in for more than anything. So sweet. I like about Think Twice is even though it's more mana intensive than Expressive Iteration, they also kind of can't. Against all odds, I'm going to let this go, and the reason is is that if they drop Ragavan, I'm kind of SOL. But at least Think Twice is a card that they can't really. I mean, they can spell pierce it, but I still get the value on the second go around. Oh, it's always very, very nice. And just in case I have to play all four of these. Not an impossible scenario by any means. Do love aliens. And good thing we do counter spell right on cue. And if they have counter spell, we have spell snare. Nice. Oh, they just. I don't know why they just. Uh, they just scoop it up. But uh, yeah, that's a little defeatist. But I mean, like. I mean, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. I think our deck is, it does just so happen to be very well positioned against Merc Tide <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, all right. <clears throat> all right, post league, um, post league wrap up. So, um, oh yeah, and by the way, the last opponent uh, um, that I love aliens uh, apparently was a big fan. My apologies that I, uh, 
didn't see the comment. Sometimes when I'm recording, I have the comments off to the side. Um, you know, just more real estate for the for showing the games and everything. But yeah, hey, look. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, see what I mean? Like this budget deck, an argument could be made, at least like as far as a meta clone goes, an argument could be made that this actually, that this actually is better than the regular Sea and Sky deck. I mean, I don't. I mean, obviously, you have to imagine force certification, subtlety, like all these powerful cards. You know, Lorraine revealed. Sure, it's a comment, but I mean, this is a this is a powerful card, especially with a force and everything. Chalice of the Void, and yet, and yet somehow, your Ferenki Dink budget deck. <laughs> and yes, Cryptic Command has become a budget card. So like, yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, so we faced how many is it decks? We faced one. We faced an is it Merc Tide, a Jeskai Merc Tide. An is it fairies and a and an is it uh, dreadhorde deck? Um, so we beat all the uh, all the is it and Jeskai decks, and we only lost to Rakdos. I'd say that's a pretty good. I'd say that's pretty good overall. Of course, of course, being able to beat Rakdos would have been nice. We do have the tools here, you know, stone and you know whatnot. But anywho, anywho, instead of crying over spilled milk, I I think. And I think I've really been liking these Dark Slick Shores. We can always bring in the full demolition package, but you know, just uh, yeah, I think Think Twice <laughs> such a surprisingly good card. It's funny because I think on Twitter they were saying, um, you know, which cards do you remember that used to be good? Well, we uh, here in M Hayashi Land, we we never forget cards like this. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, thanks to Adrian King, Gavin Downard, Daryl B Train Four, Savage Ooze. Jules Faro, Kevin Robach, <coughs> Roland Shonenman, S. Robertson, H. J. C. L. I. U. Sophis Garup, Erwin Lopez, Stanley Franks, Jeff H., Brian H., Z. Cole Smith, Andrew Watts, and Michael Patton. Take care, everybody.